explain to you how to visualize the critical path within Microsoft Project and to visualize critical tasks and how to set that up and how that's technically done in Microsoft Project. Real quick video. So first of all, what is the critical path? For those of you that are project management professionals, you'll be already aware that it is the longest or shortest path, however you want to think about it, through your project, all right? So the time between the project start date and the finish date, the tasks that make up that path with a logical sequence is the critical path, right? So if there's other tasks in other work streams, they can expand out. It's not going to affect the end date of the project. But if tasks on the critical path were to be extended, then that would push out the end date of the project. How do we visualize this in Microsoft Project? Well, let me show you. So in the Gantt chart format, if you're in the Gantt chart view, you should be able to come to the Gantt chart format tab and check critical tasks. All right, now I can see that the critical path for my project is this phase two here, right? Because we have some tasks within it. In fact, if I indent these, you'll see that represented on the Gantt chart. You can see this is the longest path and that's in fact the project finish date there. So 311. Now why are they critical? Well, that's because there is time on phase one because you've got probably five days before that becomes critical, right? For any of these four tasks here to be pushed out. If the durations were to be extended, it would be okay because they're not on the critical path. Now you can have uh, different levels of leniency on that critical path. So if I go to File and then Options in the Advanced tab, down here you can see I always have, as a general rule, five days of critical path, right? So if a, ta a task is critical, if it has less than or equal to five days of slack, the default's one day, right? So you can have one day of slack, and then that becomes critical, right? So for example, now if I was to expand this one out, it's not critical because it's still three, five, still got some six days to go. If I expand this one out here, now we're critical because we're on the same level, right? But that's because it's one day of slack. If I was to undo those changes, there's also another representation on the Gantt chart of slack. You can see it represented here. How much time do I have before I be these, this, the tasks within this path become critical? But let me show you that with my little hack there that I always have switched on in the options. In the advanced tab down here, we can come down and say that tasks are critical if they're less than, if they're more than five days. If the slack is less than five days or equal to five days. Instantly, these become critical, right? Because 3.5 is pretty close to that 3.11. We should consider those critical. I want to visualize them on the Gantt chart as red. As we go further back, we're no longer critical. That's a nice styling preference that you might want to take advantage of when you're visualizing critical tasks on the Gantt chart. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much.